We're going to explain how to calculate heats of reaction from heats of formation and how to calculate them at temperatures other than the temperatures where we can obtain heats of formation. So let's just look at a type reaction where A plus 2B reacts to C. So the heat reaction we can get from tables of heats of formation which are available at 298K and it would be heats of formation of the products minus the heats of formation of the reactants and the stoichiometric coefficients must be included in that calculation. And now if we want heat reaction at some other temperature, since tables are only available at 298 Kelvin, we can calculate that by the heat reaction at 298 plus integral from 298 to the temperature that we're interested in a summation of stoichiometric coefficients times heat capacities which in general will be a function of temperature and we're going to call this term we're going to call this delta cp and so this delta cp would be heat capacity of product minus heat capacity of reactants including the stoichiometric coefficient so that means this integral term of delta cp dt could be rewritten as heat capacity of the product minus I'm going to change the minus to a plus and put t here and 298 here and this is heat capacity of a plus 2 times heat capacity of b and the reason I've written it this way is because essentially what we're doing when we're doing this calculation so so we have our reactants here and we're interested in what's the heat of reaction at temperature t to make the product the way we do the calculation is we cool so we're at temperature t here we cool down a and b to 298 kelvin carry out the reaction at 298 because we have data for heat formation and so now we have the product at 298 and then we raise the temperature up for product C up to that final temperature. And so you can see this term is this term and this term for delta H is this term. And of course this delta H here is our original delta H from heat to formation. So we're adding up 1 plus 2 plus 3 get the heat reaction at the temperature of interest.